Hey, what's going on? Welcome back. Patrick here from All Things Mathematics and moving on to the next test question. So here we have to use the properties of limits to find this limit as x approaches 4 of 2 of f of x minus g of x all over g of x plus 2. Given these limits here, the limit as x approaches 4 of f of x is negative 1 and then the limit as x approaches 4 of g of x is equal to 3. So we went over these properties of limits in the lecture videos. If you didn't go through those videos, make sure you do first before watching this because all of the different properties were listed and then we went over some different scenarios of how to apply the properties. So we're gonna be using those same properties to solve this limit right here. So the first thing that we are going to do um, is notice that we have this fraction here. So we're gonna apply the quotient rule, I think it's called. So where you take the limit, put it in the numerator, put it in the denominator. So we'll have the limit as x approaches four. And then let's write that entire um, numerator in brackets. So you don't just think I'm taking the limit of this if the brackets weren't there, right? The limit gets, uh, it's the limit of this entire numerator, that entire expression right there. Then we'll have the limit as x approaches 4 of this entire denominator, g of x plus 2, like that. Okay, and then we look at these two limits separately. So notice that here we have two expressions that are subtracting, here two expressions that are adding, and so we use the sum and difference rule of limits, where we can basically take this limit, it's almost like thinking about distributing it in the bracket, right? So it's like um, the limit as x approaches 4 of 2 f of x minus the limit as x approaches 4 of g of x, right? So just separating the two limits there, and then this is going to be all over the limit as x approaches 4 of this g of x plus the limit as x approaches 4 of this constant 2. And then from here, we're actually almost done in plugging everything in. We have this g of x isolated, this g of x isolated, but here notice that this, we have a 2 here, this constant. And if you remember, there's a property of limits where we could take the constant out, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that constant out. So let's put a 2 there. And then I'll have the um, limit as x approaches 4 of f of x, uh, like that, right? So the limit stays with the f of x, but the 2 we took out. And then we have minus the limit as x approaches 4 of g of x. Yeah, everything else stays the same, right? There's nothing else to do, as I mentioned. So the limit as x approaches 4 of g of x plus the limit as x approaches 4 of 2, like that. And now, finally, we can go into plugging everything in, right? So the limit as x approaches 4 of f of x is negative 1. And then the limit as x approaches 4 of g of x is 3. So what are we going to have? 2 times negative 1 minus 3 all over limit as x approaches 4 of g of x, which is 3, plus the limit as x approaches 4 of a constant, right? Or if you remember, there's a rule that the limit as x approaches a of any constant is just equal to that constant, right? No matter what the a value is. So this 4 here is irrelevant because this is just a constant that just stays as 2. So what would we have? Negative 5 over positive 5. Final answer is negative 1. Right? So that is a question applying the different properties. But again, there's different scenarios you could uh, run into. There's also some square root properties which we went through in the lecture videos. So highly recommend reviewing those just to get a little bit more practice with this kind of 
question. And that is the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you want to find more videos like this, you can go to my website, allthingsmathematics.com. Over there, all my courses are organized for both high school and university. All the videos are organized by chapter. Also, if you have any questions, you can hit me up. My contact details are also on the website. Enjoy your day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.